All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to a game between Infi versus Moon taking place here on Northern Isle. For those of you guys who follow me on Facebook, um, yeah, my daughter is feeling a little bit better. Thank you for asking. I missed my normal Tuesday cast because I was at home taking care of her and just making sure that she was one little happy camper back at home. Anyways, today I have some Night Elf versus Human games for you. And there were some pretty, uh, pretty uh, apparently epic replays. I've been trying to avoid all of the spoilers out there. Um, and I know that the Back to Warcraft guys have also casted these games as well. Um, if you want to hear me rant, well, thank you. Um, getting a little bit different perspective on the game, perhaps the banter. Um, even though I really can't banter with anyone since I don't have a co-caster with me. Anyways, over here on the bottom left-hand side of the map, we have Infi spawning as the blue human. Over here on the top right, we have Moon spawning as the red night elf. I don't believe anyone is going to be surprised to see a keeper of the grove going up against an archmage in this particular matchup. Now... Let's go ahead and break things down into what we are most likely going to be expecting in this matchup. And it really feels like as of late, well, players have figured out how to deal with the, well, the Keeper of the Grove. Now, I'm not going to say that the Keeper of the Grove is not, um, is not overpowered or the must-go-to hero any longer. But I will say that people have found a way to, to, dealing, to deal with it. Being able to get purge off of shamans, force troll shadow priests from the mercenary camps. Um, if there, I don't believe there are mercenary camps on this map. No, there are not. At least not on this one. But also getting dispel magic. Um, um, a couple of things that I would actually like to see a little bit more in terms of just overall balance is increasing the passive regeneration that the the sorceresses and the priests get from adept training and from um, from mastery training since. Well, the human players seem to be much, or human casters seem to be a much more prevalent strategy as a main unit, as opposed to, say, just simply a support style. Anyways, Militia will go ahead and get cleared out here. Tome of Strength plus two. We may see a detonation taking down some of those units. Claws of Attack plus nine added, though, as that damage will add up. Kitchen Head, thank you for tuning in. Always nice to know that there are more viewers out there. Um, at, at, and Alexander, glad to see you today. Are you going to be casting Warcraft 3 Reforged when it comes out? Most definitely yes. And I've already said this in the past, and I'll probably say it again, um, well, as this footman is going to get taken out. I'll, I'll, I, I don't know if I will continue to cast Warcraft 3 after Reforged. I, I know I will be doing a little bit of casting, testing my waters in the, in the entire casting pool that is out there, but it, it almost feels like um, casting is definitely uh, well a very, very different thing than when I first started it back in 2009. Um, yeah, it's probably it's been about 10 years now since I've started casting and the overall landscape it has changed significantly as we see a beautiful use of the lightning shield coming in from Infi. The footman is perhaps can do a little bit of running around and it's just a little bit of additional micro as it also allows for some major chasing happening. There you go. You saw one archer getting taken down. The footman looks like it will get taken down as well. It's trying to get take or trying to get saved. However, an archer in the back just does deal that final damage here. All right, let's take a look at that. Oh, let's take a look at an archer. Could get taken down. Yes, by a lightning shield. Trading a lightning shield um, and a footman there. Um, but yeah, ultimately what I'm going to say is there may be an influx of new quality casters um, in, in Warcraft 3 or perhaps... Um, Witty and some of the other streamers and, you know, you know, back to Warcraft as well. And Rotterdam, um, all of those guys out there, even Todd, he may um, try to do some Warcraft recasting as well. And with that, well, I, I think they just seem to be better suited since they're able to actually handle it full time. Um, really great casters out there. And if it is a good time for me to step aside, then maybe it's a good time for me to step aside. But do know that I will be continuing to cast and do a little bit of activity on my channel as long as 
Well, the views make sense. Keeper of the Grove picking up a pendant of energy, and those archers are going to do an easy, easy job finishing off the remainder of these units here. I don't even actually know what this guy... Is it attacking anything, or is it just kind of stuck? It looked like it was just kind of stuck, unable to get anywhere. It wasn't really dealing any damage, as all the units are now backing off. Meanwhile, over here to the top right, Infi is still sitting at level 2. He's trying to get to level 3 off of, on this Archmage, a footman trying to chase down that Wisp. But as you know, Wisp actually move very, very quickly. You are great. Keep it up. Maybe you should get more involved and be a U.S. caster besides Back to Warcraft and Chaco. Um, Back to Warcraft, um, I don't believe, is a U.S. caster. I believe he's a German cat, an English caster based out of Germany. Um, but I thank you for, well, being the favorite um, for you guys out there. I know a lot of people don't like my, well, when is he ever going to stop talking type of commentary. Wanda Man is dealing picked back up here. Keeper of the Grove. Is he going to be able to get an easy entangle off onto that footman? And really what Moon's trying, what Moon's doing here is just maximizing, uh, just picking off units one by one and gaining a good amount of experience. You can see the, the entangle on that footman may end up getting him taken down. Yeah, there it goes. There goes one. The Keeper of the Grove could try to go after another footman here. That footman down to 55 hit points is one or two more shots, one more shot. Yeah, and it does get entangled down again. So what Moon's really looking to do here off of this one hero opening is to get close to level 4, if not 5, and eventually 6 on that Keeper of the Grove very quickly. We've all seen how powerful Tranquility can be, and with, well, the introduction of Mountain Giants as a very, very palpable unit in the Night Elf arsenal, all of a sudden... It seems like the Keeper of the Grove has another very high hit point late game unit. The problem with Mountain Giants, though, is that the damage really sticks. Uh, the upside, you have 1600 hit points. That's great. But you're, that means you're also constantly trying to heal up 1600 hit points. And we've seen in a battle of attrition, if you don't have... Um, level three healing spray in addition to tranquility constantly going those keeper of the those mountain giants just end up falling apart over time they don't last well in a war of attrition and you almost kind of gotta just outlast them in order to do a good job and be able to go anywhere now both sides both Infi and Moon have established up expansions already, and both sides are still sitting in no upkeep. That means they're going to be able to spend a lot of gold on the exact perfect unit composition that they want. One strange thing right now, Moon does have a lot of archers at this point, and I don't know if we are actually going in to defend yet. Meanwhile, back at the other side, the town hall is nearly done. Tree of Life. Oh, excuse me, I take it back. Because of the expansions earlier on, that's the reason why Moon did not yet get that Goblin Alchemist. That does allow that Keeper of the Grove to get closer to level 4, though, and to build a larger army as the time comes. All right, let's take a look at this. That Footman down to 115 hit points could get, end up getting taken down by that Entangle. And it, is it going to give experience? Yes, it will. As the Keeper of the Grove inching closer and closer and dangerously to level 4. All right, Goblin Sapper comes across, explodes. And then all of a sudden, this army, which had a fairly large amount of hit points, now the Keeper of the Grove able to get some more, more units killed off there. So, wow, interesting. How did he even get a Goblin Sapper? off of the wisp beautiful mind-blown maneuver right there as that footman does get entangled and choked down to death all right that goblin sapper seemingly coming from nowhere explodes across multiple units as we now see the alchemist already out on the field acid bomb going to eat away through the archer's uh, hit points slowly but surely as the alchemist still does a little bit of chasing let's see is this archer going to get taken down down to 11 hit points down to five down to dead as well time runs out meanwhile one lone archer taking some piercing damage from that arcane tower it looks like it will get taken out by this arcane tower here i'm not really quite sure why it's there it's just going to end up falling and dying but no re real reason to escape yet. Meanwhile, back in the center portion, Entangle, Acid Bomb onto an Alchemist. There's a Cyclone picking up the unit once more. Meanwhile, Water Elemental absorbing a lot more damage. Who's going to get the killing blow? Alchemist and Moon gets the killing blow there. A little bit more experience on the board. Meanwhile, Keeper of the Grove wants to get some easy Entangles. Is it going to be able to do exactly that? Yes, finds a Footman 
who is currently at 80 hit points. It just needs to fall over again. There it goes, getting denied. Enfi sitting at level 3. Meanwhile, Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 4. And it looks like he's going to be back and ready for more, more action. But he does have to be very careful. All right, Mortar Team is also being trained. The Keeper of the Grove could easily pick off units as both sides sit in no upkeep, waiting for the opportunity to just kind of explode into that mid-60 range in terms of overall supply. You don't want to explode from 50 to 80 because, well, you're... Well, you need to have a lot of production units in order to even do that. And then your production units become idle later on when you don't have that surplus of gold. So we normally see a jump from 50 into the low low to mid 60s. And that's what I'm expecting from both sides here as the staff of teleportation moves Moon back home. Meanwhile, back down to the south here, Alchemist or Alchemist sitting at level 2, Archmage sitting at level 4, finishing off the remaining units and leaving behind a Tome of Intelligence. Not quite sure why. All right. Even if it's a cast, yeah, you know, good luck, have fun. Even if it is a cast, you see Acid Bomb, not, uh, it looked, well, that was not the Acid Bomb. That was just the natural air attack of that Goblin Alchemist, the little Alchemist on the back of that Ogre. If you didn't actually realize it, the, the Goblin Alchemist is actually the guy um, getting, uh, getting what, like, backpacked around he's not actually that giant ogre that you're seeing i guess he's like that guy you can see his legs in in the picture and that's pretty much it all right let's take a move back here robe of magi units gonna go ahead and try and engage dryads are showing up at level three now on the alchemist that could potentially be a problem as all the units are now looking to back up dryad low on hit points you can see now infi has gone into that um, mid um, well upkeep hell right now low upkeep hell right now and he wants to get into that a mid to high 70 range um, as quickly as possible. If you are going to be taxed, white, might as well just try and play in your tax bracket as much as possible as that priest could end up getting taken down. One more shot will end up finishing it off. Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 4. All right, split action army all across the board. This is a massive archer dryad army here. As you're going to see, well, um, ivory tower is now being placed down. Healing spray. Why was you? Why were you healing spraying the opposite end? And now there's multiple alchemists here. Also looking at mortar teams doing a little bit of lobbying. What is happening as the Keeper of the Grove now tries to head back. Slow getting cast onto all of those units entangle onto one alchemist there cyclone quickly picks up the units as the mountain giants have joined in on the fight mortar teams looking to deal in extra damage as well healing spray trying to heal up that alchemist back into a good spot as you're going to take a look at the mountain giants perhaps trying to push their way through and take down these buildings scout towers all pretty much destroyed archers going to be forced to pull back here as there is just too much damage coming in from the footman militia and now the archmage also throwing down some additional no nope, peasants now throwing down some additional scout towers as well <coughs> excuse me only one mountain giant joining on the fight tree of life showing 70 over 80 supply compared to 76 over 78 Infi has the advantage as the mortar teams are trying to shell shock down the tree of life here dryads are going to show up to the party towers are going to get taken down but the riflemen at 1-0 upgrades going up against 2-2 as the dryads have to be extremely careful all right peasants are just also in the front location and they're actually causing a little bit of a traffic jam on all of the wisps that we're trying to get through that does mean that many of those sorcerers and the priests in the back have no mana after the detonation but a handful of the wisps did not make their target moon needs to be able to figure out how to fight back in this uh, current current time right now there are three mountain giants but that's the only thing really going for moon as the lines are starting to actually fall the militia now that the militia are no longer um well protecting those riflemen and those sorcerers those units those mountain giants able to get closer onto that rifleman and the rifleman do need to back off Mountain Giant still doing a little bit of chase. Rifleman trying to shoot and run and not getting off many easy, easy shots there either. As we see the Mountain Giants once again, um, well, doing a bit of a taunt. Now, fighting next to trees is an absolute dangerous proposition as all of a sudden, all of a sudden you may have a clear established line of defense only to see that, um, well, all of a sudden, all of those trees that you were standing next to are starting to attack again. Alchemist trying to do its best to keep 
um, this location alive, this rather tight choke point, but we could see another Force of Nature call here if the Keeper of the Grove had enough mana and the timing is right. All right, continuing the sh uh, Shell Shock units again, Mountain Giants, many of them unable to engage as the units are all now pulling back once more. Alchemist still sitting at three, Archmage sitting at four, going up against a level five Keeper of the Grove and a level three Alchemist multiple mountain giant taunts as the mountain giants are just trying to close in on the distance and take down some units eventually though moon is going to force that scroll of town portal from his opponent and this is where i said earlier damage seems to stick to mountain giants and um, the big upside is when you have a freshly trained freshly healed mountain giant they're they're 1600 hit points trying to heal 1600 hit points is extremely extremely difficult Ex essentially considering that the uh, alchemist and the alchemist and the keeper of the grove are more aoe healers not single spot healers no staff of sanctuary only a staff of preservation as the mountain giants will get teleported back and that will deny the experience but it's not going to negate the fact that you have six supply sitting on a 150 hit point unit that's not engaging once it gets teleported back home Mountain Giant absorbing a lot of that damage. Meanwhile, Healing Spray doing its thing. We're going to take a look at a big entangle onto a Mortar Team. Once again, the Mortar Teams and the Riflemen are now upgraded to one upgrades as the Mountain Giants do need to be very careful as they head back home. All right, Dryads, what's happening here? That one Dryad didn't get the memo to leave and it could end up getting taken down. No, able to escape at 21 hit points. moon is sitting at 80 over 80 supply compared to 72 over 78 moon wells are fairly well filled and at this stage in the game it wouldn't be a bad idea to just constantly leave um moonstones on your character if you need more mana there you can take a look this mountain giant 358 hit points it's going to get teleported back home and now pretty much um well drain all of these moon wells um, instantaneously there's a clarity potion there's a moonstone there's a staff of preservation as we're gonna see the counter attack come back the other way mountain giant down to 600 hit points two of them very low on hit points and um, this is where moon is really going to have to micro all of his units extremely well all right pendant of energy robe of magi all of those now picked back up keeper of the grove sitting close to what 700 max thank you thomas for the subscription for the sub as we're looking at the force of nature is now look, trying to make their way back down during this time i like infi's option right here to try and creep out not only with the alchemist but also with the level four archmage and as i've said before real-time strategy games are all a game of seconds and if you uh, to consider this i could build this or anyone could build this exact army but we wouldn't be able to build it with the efficiency that Infi is doing, especially considering the, the harassment that's coming in from Moon. So um, and anytime you're trying to play a game like this, what you're really trying to do is you're trying to get a slight second or a slight time advantage over your opponent. Squirrel of Town Portal now coming in. Major beatdown onto the Town Hall. Town Hall could get taken down here. The uh, Mountain Giants with that range siege melee attack able to deal that damage there. Range is now actually 250. As you can take a look, the Mountain Giant is absorbing a lot of damage. Militia now making their way back over. However, an Acid Bomb across multiple units making that a, a bad, bad choice. Scroll of the Beast across multiple Riflemen. And this army is actually very, very scary. Considering that the Mountain Giants could end up with negative armor, they could end up getting, well, pulled back. Moon sitting at 81 supply, Infi losing out tremendously in that battle, losing his expansion and dropping down to 65 supply. Back off to the north here, Moon sitting comfortably and the downside of using Moonstones constantly is that the day never seems to advance. Um, artificial night right now is going to help these moon wells get a little bit more ju moon juice and you also see very importantly the moon well upgrade more mana definitely going to help here as well in comes the fight riflemen mortar teams inner fire on all of these units here and inner fire is perhaps um, even more dangerous as that plus five additional armor means that the dryads and that well they're going to be harder to kill and that the dryads are not going to be able to poke them down nearly as fast riflemen well there's a quick detonation once more as you're taking a look dryads trying to do their thing 
but well the shell shock damage onto all of those dryads and they are now all gone what's that going to mean in the end the archmages water elementals are actually finally going to start to be useful as they're just not going to be abolished away all right you can take a look at that now that effect all of a sudden not having dryads as the keeper of the grove down to 78 hit points acid bomb onto the keeper of the grove down to 50 100 hit points needs to get a healing spray in order to stay alive down to 57 hit points as the riflemen show up to the party meanwhile what are the mortar teams doing the mortar teams could try and take down that building and it does get taken down level four alchemist also falls on moon side and what was i thought to uh, what i thought to believe uh, a big big victory for moon all of a sudden infi able to flip the script hero down and all and what's going to happen here inner fire however not that big of an issue any longer as the archmage it, well with the nerf to brilliance or a none of the priests have any more mana all right let's continue this fight back once more archmage does have a scroll of town portal essentially a get out of jail free card no staff of sanctuary to save any riflemen that get out of position though as this fight is still going through all right Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 5. It just desperately wants one kill somewhere. That's really what it's trying to go for. Scroll of Town Portal needs to be used. Potion of Invulnerability being used instead. And that's only 7 seconds of Invulnerability. What is it doing? It cannot stay around. There goes one. Wow. Alchemist gets taken down. Tranquility on the Keeper of the Grove. And Infi really stuck around far too long. Infi was was trying to get every every ounce trying to i guess like squeeze a lemon so hard getting every little drop of lemon juice and ended up just losing his hand losing his alchemist giving level six to the keeper of the grove and now i've said this before one of the reasons why tranquility is such a good ability is that it is useful out of combat the majority of the um, ultimate abilities are only useful when you are engaging. Keeper of the Grove, however, with um, Tranquility, you are able to use Tranquility even when you're out of combat. And while it's on cooldown, well, that's when you're constantly uh, getting a lot out of it because you're able to constantly cast it over and over again. Keeper of the Grove, Staff of Preservation, is it actually going to try and save this location here? Rifleman, a very large range unit. And this is a horrible spot for Moon to fight. What is he doing here? Um, two of the Mountain Giants, you can see, are not even really engaging as the Dryads can't really afford to try and fight past here either. Mortar teams are able to shell shock from the back. Keeper of the Grove is still getting healed. Alchemist may show up to the party. Uh, perhaps Staff of Preservation, that low hit point unit, as this front line here is starting to finally engage. Mortar teams quickly shell shock down a Dryad. And you can see how much damage that is dealing there. All right, Mortar teams will be forced to pull back. Let's take a look at what's going on here. More and more Mortar teams. Disruptor, thank you for the cheer. Uh, um, 1,000 bits definitely, definitely going to help. Um, I've already paid for Warcraft 3 Reforged through donations. But maybe I'll get multiple copies um, well, actually, no, no reason to get multiple copies. But um, I will find a use for it. Thank you. Dryad's going to splat there once more. Um, maybe I'll be able to pay my accountant since... Um, well, yeah, I don't actually want to get audited this year. Anyways, Tranquility once again, Moon being used. And you can see all of this here. Um, well, Moon should really be pulling back with the low hit point units. He's using Tranquility, but unless he's healing units n next to him, there's no real upside to it. He lost perhaps maybe 1,500 hit points across all of these uh, mountain giants, and that is a full, almost a full mountain giant there. So a big mistake once again as Moon is down to 53 supply compared to, um, what, Infi's 71. All right, mortar teams have just been able to lob over the top of all of these units pretty consistently. And fighting in this choke point has got to be just a momentary lapse of judgment for Moon. Moon using, using healing spray to the best of its ability. But now you can see all of these mountain giants are low on hit points, even though they are fully upgraded at 3-3. 
All right, there you go. Another tranquility being used. You're going to see how many hit points this, in fact, heals. The mountain giants are slowly making this area a little bit wider by actually picking up the trees and trying to fight back. That peasant had a bad day, surrounded by six mountain giants just to have it um, take down a single peasant unit there. Tranquility, um, no, once again, on cooldown. Keeper of the Grove continuing to fight. Alchemist at 70 mana, not enough. And that Alchemist is going to go ahead and get teleported back home. Beautiful, beautiful use by Infi. What ends up happening there is the Staff of Preservation is now on cooldown. The other Staff of, Staff of Preservation is gone because it got teleported back home. And this is the opportunity to try and take down some of those low hit point mountain giants. All right, Staff of Teleportation. Alchemist comes back. He comes back. Uh, bringing a healing spray to multiple mountain giants as that guy needs to get teleported back home. Not quite sure why he hasn't done that exactly yet. 58 supply compared to 60. Another tranquility being used. And once again, this mountain giant is just a bit too far. All right, all of that damage, all of that focus fire. Units are now trying to head back once again. This front line location trying to push their way through, but there just doesn't seem to be enough damage. Rifleman about to get taken down. Let's take a look at this. If there was actually Staff of Sanctuary being used, that might end up um, well, saving some of these low hit point Riflemen. 3-3 three, three upgraded Riflemen going up against 3-3 three, three Mountain Giants and 3-3 three, three Dryads. Mortar teams just continue to able to sh shock. But this, well, what is going on here? Moon getting in free shots on all of these Mortar teams as we're going to look at a Tree of Life perhaps in danger once again. All right, Keeper of the Grove off to the side. Force of Nature is going to go ahead and push on through. All right, that's going to be a lot of dead Mountain Giants here, or sorry, Mortar Teams here in just a moment. More repairs are needed. There goes that Tree of Life. I believe the main gold mines are already gone. Infi now mining Moon. What you see is what you get, but Moon does have the larger army. 57 supply compared to 49. All right, Archmage trying to push their way through. If Archmage can get to level 6, then all of a sudden it, it flips again because, well, why does it flip? Uh, you get mass teleport. Mass teleport could change things up dramatically as we see another acid bomb across multiple units. There goes another mortar team looking like he's dying just due to that acid bomb again. Mountain Giant 3-3 is going to be forced to pull back. Where is the remaining units? Archmage sitting at level 5 just trying to get a little bit more damage. Taking down an Ancient of Wonders might be enough to get to level 6 and it is. Staff or mass teleport going to be ready to go. No, drops a water elemental instead. Archmage, did it get level 3? Got level 3 brilliance or over mass teleport. This level 6 Archmage does not have mass teleport. Trying to get more mana into the priest and the sorceress. Trying to keep them alive. The maxed out ability on all of these units here. And the priest and the sorceresses are still low on mana. All right, Keeper of the Grove. Trying to do a little bit of chasing. But once again, damage sticks to Mountain Giants. And that's exactly what you're seeing right here. All right, what are this? Tuscar Warriors joining in on the fight. Getting in a little bit of extra damage. All right, Tranquility also being used. All the units are now trying to pull back away. Alchemist could get a little bit more gold. Are we going to get a walk over? No, the main tree. Where is it? I don't see a tree of eternity or any sort of tree trying to walk over. Moon's army is literally what you see is what you get. Now, Alchemist sitting at level 5 on the human side. Meanwhile, level five, or 4 on the human side. Level 5 on the Alchemist. Is it going to be able to get Transmute? If it gets Transmute once again, it can all flip once more. The Archmage finally giving plenty of mana to the priest and the sorceresses as all of these units are walking over very slowly. Keeper of the Grove should have well should have another tranquility in the next 60 seconds or so. That priest is going to get taken down. It was just standing there for so long, not getting beat up. Not quite sure what happened. Moon sitting at 57 compared to 45. Infi is not mining anything either. There's only two... Uh, what is that? Two minutes or, or 1,300 gold left there. So both sides, what you see is what you get. Archmage makes its way over. Going to be going after the Drake and all of these units here. Going to try and focus down. And the big upside for Infi right now is that he has Priest. What does that mean? It means that time turns into hit points 
because of the priest. Yes, the same is true for the alchemist and also the keeper of the grove with healing spray and also um, and tranquility but the mana on the heroes is more precious than the mana on those priests right now archmage drops another water elemental gonna go ahead and turn back around and fight one mountain giant sticking around for a little bit um, too long acid or acid bomb goes down on multiple sorceresses as units are now looking to try and pull back alchemist getting very close to level six wisp could actually make their way to detonate and i believe they did detonate on no it looks like they detonated on some units but not enough to remove a significant amount of mana 54 supply compared to 43 both sides armies are incredibly incredibly thin right now archmage finishes off a unit gets a little bit more experience alchemist gets to level five could be level three acid bomb I would assume it's level 3 Acid Bomb over level 3 Healing Spray because you already have a good number of Priests and you also have Brilliance Aura level 3 in order to try to cast as much as you possibly can. Once more though, the Mountain Giants have been healed back up to their full potential. A 10 Supply bonus for Moon and most of that supply, what is that, uh, 36 of that supply currently sitting in Mountain Giants. But once again, if the, some of the Mountain Giants in the back are not engaging, it doesn't matter how large your army actually is. Oh, Mortar Team down to 28 hit points. It looks like it could get, it could end up getting saved here. Going to cut it extremely close. Meanwhile, Mortar Team splatting down another Dryad again. Archmage continuing this fight again. Alchemist down to... Oh, De well, get staffed of preservation as a mortar team gets taken down. Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 7, continuing this fight. A, a line of trees could get summoned out, but by this point, the priest have so much mana because of level 3 Brilliance Aura that it would get dispelled immediately. Moon, bringing all of the units close once again. Um, let's take a look. Uh, where is that alchemist alchemist teleports back sitting at 390 mana keeper of the grove needs to walk back home very slowly as well it should be able to get some mana and well is it gonna drop yeah drop those items you get some mana and then pick them back up already up to close to 600 mana once more as that keeper of the grove well looks like it will be able to lead this army 53 supply compared to 38 Keeper of the Grove now heading its way back down. Buildings don't really mean that much right now except for the fact that you need one in order to stay alive. Production has pretty much well come to a standstill as the Water Elemental and Mountain Giants are going to go in and try and engage. There you have it. Water Elementals almost taking down a Dryad pretty much instantaneously not having that much mana abolish magic is now a problem force of nature is trying to join in on the fight endurance aura on the archmage to move this army around just that much more quickly healing coming across multiple units there is a taunt again as the archmage now trying to pull back under the perhaps the cover of a guard tower inner fire across multiple units water elemental being dropped back down it looks as though the sorceress what well, does end up getting taken down 37 to 72 siege damage Per swing of that giant club. Keeper of the Grove. Tranquility healing up all of the units. And Moon with Tranquility. Keeping these mountain giants alive. Looks like it will be enough. Infi's army is just starting to fall. And I believe the tipping point has already been passed. That is going to be it. Uh, level 6 Alchemist is on the red side. Where is the level 6 Alchemist? Did it? It is back home. Yeah, level 6 Alchemist. And I don't believe we're even going to see a transmute at all. There's the Staff of Teleportation. Oh, we could see a transmute now. There is an Acid Bomb trying to finish off that unit. Are we going to see a transmute uh, just wandering back and forth, trying to perhaps take down oh, healing, spraying up some units again as all those units are now trying to run back again. Oh, acid Bomb across multiple units. I believe that is the level, only the level 2 variety. And that is it. He used it before. All right my problem uh, my fault i did not see it all right so pretty much a, a recap of that game um moon took it because he was managing his mana um and using tranquility out of combat hacky thank you for the bits yeah that that was pretty much it um also he got lucky 
with the robe of the magi and the pendant of energy in conjunction with moon wells um, as you guys know uh, moon wells heal a static rate or if you didn't know moon wells heal a static amount per mana but as you pick up your items um, your mana increases proportionally if it increases as well and because of that he got a lot more mana out of those moon wells than if he didn't have that robe of the magi which is plus six intelligence which is plus 90 mana and that pendant of energy which is an additional 150 i believe so what um so what 240 extra mana and the robe of magi also gives passive mana regeneration so those together being able to keep mountain giants alive really came out um came out and showed in the end thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it